Hello, welcome to Flight Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today's video is going to be a little bit interesting. I was trying to think of a project that anyone could do and they can do in their own home, and I came up with the idea of creating a still life. So this is what we're going to do, is we're going to create a still life. And you're probably thinking, why? Well, a still life allows you to use a lot of flowers if you've got a lot, or very few if you've only got a few, but it also allows you to incorporate some of your own possessions, whether they're run-of-the-mill or special. So you could use man-made products or you could use uh, natural materials as well. So natural materials like rocks and shells, um, things like that, or uh, plant material, you could use plants, branches, fruit, vegetables, food, the choice is really up to you, but you could include something that is really special to you or you could include things that you just have lying around. So the idea was really to create a project where you could make something in your own home for yourself, but put it on display and enjoy it. And uh, let's see what we can do. We've got our setting. So we've got this nice wooden table. And um, the first thing I want to do is really just put down a cloth. So. This is actually a pillowcase, but or a cushion cover, but we're gonna just pop that down. And uh, my main container that I want to use in this is this rather rustic sort of vase. This is a nice heavy vase. And I want to just fill it with water. So I think we all kind of see that we enjoy flowers and we love flowers and that's true but do we include them in our lives on a daily basis and if that's the we probably don't so the reality is um being able to do something like a still life just allows us to create something in a space in our own home i'm just adding a little bit of scrunched up wire into my vase and that's really just to give a little bit of support. And then we can just position our vase where we want it. So I've got lots of different things that I want to use. And uh, I wanted this to be quite rustic. And uh, we can include glass as well. And for our glass, I've got some wonderful fruit. And these are actually really good artificial fruit. So we want to do maybe a plate and a knife. And for our apple here, we can just make this into a little bit more interesting with our fruit. But flower-wise, I've just gone out into the garden and chosen a range of different flowers. And uh, really the ones that I thought were amazing were these Nephophia. Now, they're just really interesting. So I wanted this to be kind of moody and interesting. They're starting to go over, but this is really interesting, these uh, kind of elements that are starting to go backwards. And you can see that wire is really helping to hold our flowers. Without that, because these are quite heavy stems, it would be quite hard to actually control those stems. This is a, a bit of a lemon balm. I'm really trying to work in a, a different way just so that you can really see what we're doing. I'm always using these, but this is one of my, my onions that's kind of like an Egyptian onion. I just love it. They're really quite interesting and just a bit different. And I've got a little burpinia leaf as well. You can just put it in the back. So as I say, you don't need to have lots and lots of materials. 
you might you might want to do the full kind of Flemish, very floral sort of arrangement, or you might want to just keep it quite tied down. So really, still lives were used in lots of ways. They were used as a, a practice session for painters. They were used as an advertisement for Dutch growers who wanted to sell their bulbs and products. And uh, there is a branch as well called Vanitas, which is really all about life and death. So essentially, you can send a message through your still life about what you think of life. So the inclusion of, say, candles. This represents the passing of time. And um, you can even include like a shell and also we can include some elements of dried flowers. So really you're showing like things that are alive, things that are starting to turn, things that are maybe going brown or going off. It can be quite dark and actually some still lives even have skulls in them. Now I don't have any skulls but I do have <laughs> a tooth that I found. So we'll just pop that tooth in um, and that can represent afterlife. And uh, I've also got some nice grapes. Now these are actually full, but it doesn't matter. That's okay. We can even put them into the back just to take our eye through. And Again, a few grasses. So I really wanted to do one that was kind of slightly autumn-y in feel. But you could totally stage this, so you could have it all blue and white, or you could have it with a very strong feature flower, or you could um, have it that the main thing is making a message. It's really up to you, but it's such a great opportunity to create something that is actually just fun to do, easy to do, because you have it in your own home, and uh, to take it from there, really. So I'm just going to lie a couple of roses down here, but really, if you were going to do this, you want to put them into uh, like a tube. We can even do like a petal or two. So this is really our idea. And you want to just double check, make sure things are not too cluttered. I think we need to just put that more off to one side. And there we go, we've got a simple still life using just materials found around the house. Some of these containers you've actually seen before, but creating an interesting little staging. Uh, so it's more than just an arrangement, it's the accumulation of all the different aspects. So thank you for watching today's video. I think still life really gives us an opportunity to explore something different and to put together something that's a little bit special. If you've enjoyed today's video, then click here to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you for our next video.